first is I must express my, what shall I say, my gratitude, my thanks to particularly all the press organizations who came out in protest against my arrest. Without that solidarity, without that support, it would have been much harder for me inside to maintain my spirits. I also must say that I have a divided identity. I don't think the press knew that I had anything to do with the press before 2009 when I started News Click. I was an engineer, I was an activist, people knew me in these two avatars. I had started News Click with the idea that I should show my friends in the activist circuit how to use digital platforms and do it cheaply. I never set myself up as something that I would start an alternate media, a different media platform. But what happened is slowly that became my primary work. So this is the transformation marked by, I guess, my arrest. When I was arrested for News Click's activities and I spent seven and a half months inside. I must also say that the conditions under which I have gone to jail for the second time, the first time was during Mrs. Gandhi's emergency, people, a lot of people here would not, would not have been born at that time. That explains how old I am. The, that, that experience and this experience were in some senses similar, some senses very different. One is at that time, you had to pull the plug of the printing presses and the media had to fall silent. There was no alternate television channels, radio channels. They were all government at that point of time. And the only ones which could give a different point of view was really the news print media. There was censorship which was imposed at that point of time, even leaving blank columns, editorial columns, were disallowed. So that was one kind of controlling of news. But after 19 months, as we know, Mrs. Gandhi did declare elections, and she wanted to test whether people accepted her or not. And she finally, people said no, and she went. That was one transition we saw, and a rebirth in that sense of the democratic spirits of the people. And also belief that the Indian people knew how to discipline the leaders. And let's not forget, it is that confidence that they voted for Mrs. Gandhi again. And she didn't impose emergency again after that. So that confidence of the people, they can display, they can control their leaders. They know how to change the leaders. I think that is the essence of how democracy, democracy survives. Democracy doesn't survive only because of courts, only because of the press. It really survives because people believe in it. And people are willing to act for it in small ways and in big ways. And I think that is the spirit with which we are seeing the rebirth of resistance of different kinds coming out today. The press, yes. Media has a major role to play. But the media is not just simply the business houses. Business houses run big media. As one of the owners of one of these media houses said, we are not in the news business. We are in the business of advertisements. So I think we know what big media is all about. But it is the journalist at the ground level. It is different kinds of journalists now using different kind of platforms, which today keeps up the spirit that people need to know what is happening. And if people need to know what is happening, then they have the ability and the acumen to change their leaders. Of course, 4th of June is near when we'll know what's going to happen in the elections. 
But I think elections are only a small part of the much larger struggle. And it is that struggle, it is that spirit we have to keep in mind. As you know, I cannot speak about my case, so I'm going to keep that in mind because my tariq is tomorrow. But I must also tell you that the story of Mr. Kappan, Justice Lokur has told us, but there are many more of colleagues of ours, not necessarily journalists, some of them are journalists, but not all of them are journalists, some of them are civil rights activists, who are in jail under similar charges as mine, UAPA and so on. And we have a much larger battle, not only for press freedom, but also for freedom of people to say what they want and do what they want. So I think all these issues today are coming to a head. Elections, one part of the struggle, but that is not all. So I will, I'm going to say it again that I'm happy that I am today a part of the media, which in different ways is willing to fight for its freedom of expression. The freedom to inform the people of what's happening in the country. I think I'm proud to be associated with all of you in that. I also would like to express my solidarity to all those who are inside, who have not yet been released, who have been in jail. For instance, the civil rights activist from Kashmir, Khodam Parvez, who was in the same jail, Rohini jail as me, Irfan Mehraz, also again the same jail as me, So, who is a journalist. So all these people, and these are only two names I'm taking, there are many, many more. We have Kashmir really under a mass scale gagging of the media over there. We have the sense of fear that seems to pervade journalists today because you do not know what action can be taken against him or her or also of, as you said, as Justice Loku just said, not just losing your job but losing the fundamentals of your profession in, in another age, it would have been the pen. In today's age, it's a phone and the computer. So I think all of this, and let's not forget the camera either. So if you take all this into account, yes, we are passing through what the Chinese say, interesting times. When you live in interesting times, it's supposed to be a curse. So we are today living in interesting times. And I think that means that all of, us, all of us have a responsibility to see that democracy, democratic spirits, and justice are preserved in this country. I thank you all of you again who are here, and all those people who have participated in the various protests that have taken place in the action against news clink. A last word for me is my heart really goes out to my colleagues who have had lost their jobs because news clicks accounts have been frozen, who have lost their professional equipment and also have been put under a stress which no journalist should be put under. With these words, I'll end today and thank you all for coming and being with me.